Hi, I'm Karen Quinn from TestingMom.com. If you're looking at this video, then you probably have a child who will soon be taking the OLSAT or Otis Linen School Abilities Test and you're concerned. How will he or she do on this test? One of the best ways to make sure your child does well on the OLSAT and gets into the gifted program you want is to do practice questions ahead of time. The OLSAT can be a very difficult test. Let's take a look at the types of questions that first graders would see on this exam. Here, a six-year-old would be asked, look at the letters and numbers in the first box. Now mark the box that shows what would happen if the two switched places with the A and the three switched places with the D. The question cannot be repeated. Here, the third answer is correct. Can you imagine asking a child so young to do that for the very first time on a test where the results are so important? Practice really helps. This is another question that requires excellent listening skills. Mark the box that shows the soup first, the hot dog third, and the feather second. Questions like this can be tough for young kids who are seeing them for the very first time. And finally, in this question, the child has to identify which of the figures does not belong. The fourth answer is correct. It takes strong visual-spatial reasoning skills to solve this one. These are just a few examples of the types of questions that are on the OLSAT test. Naturally, the questions get harder as children go up in grade levels.